Hello and welcome to the 11th episode of Design Education Talks, the collaboration between the team here of the New Art School and Design the Ducks podcast. Our guest today is Joan Kirosh. Welcome, Joan. Hi, thanks for having me here. Great to see you. So tell us about you and your work. So, well, I'm Joan Kiros. I'm a freelance uh, lettering artist and calligrapher. And I work from Valencia, Spain. And well, I uh, uh, work on commercial works for clients. And also I am a teacher. I teach uh, calligraphy and lettering in different uh, masters in design and illustration. And I try to combine my teaching uh, facet or my, my teaching uh, work with my commercial work. Mm -hmm. And well, I'm happy, happy with that. <laughs> so how did you get into teaching? So, well, I spent a year and a half in London. Mm -hmm. And when I came back to Valencia, I, I already uh, knew people who were teaching in, in, in different schools. And they thought that I could fit in the program, mm. uh, in the program of, of the masters in, uh, in in design and illustration. And I started teaching in uh, in a design master here. And then I I, I got into uh, another uh, master in illustration. And yeah, and now I'm currently teaching in three masters. Uh, and and yeah uh, and yes I have contacts and this these contacts uh, brought me to 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 teach there and I I also uh, teach workshops so as soon as they knew that I was teaching workshops they thought that I could teach this kind of content on their on their on their masters so uh yeah and it's been almost five four, four and a half years five years since i got into teaching and it's a it's, it's a really nice experience mm -hmm. so how do you combine your work with what you're doing in the classroom tell us how how your work is influencing your teaching yeah, so I I dedicate some months of the of the year to to teaching. I usually teach um, from October to February or March, depending on on the different schedules I have. And I try to also I, I try to, to teach my students the process, especially. Because I think it's very important uh, to have teachers who are in contact in the in the professional world. Uh, so I, I try I try to teach my students how to deal with clients and how to work in real commissions. So I I think it's very important to understand the different the, the process in the design in the design. Um, world especially how to read uh, briefings or how to interpret uh, the words from the client mm. and also how to elaborate a mood board how to uh, do all the sketching process and then how to refine it and it, it's a thing that I, I i've learned just working and i i think it's very important to because this is, I, 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 my vision of design is like, is, is, is a, is a craftsmanship. So I think, mm, mm. uh, as, as decade, decades ago, uh, this thing should be learned from professionals to apprentices or from professionals to students. So I think it's, it's very important to, to, to transfer this knowledge I have, I have acquired on the professional world to the students so they can understand how things are working on the real world and now the world is changing mm. so fast and so quickly so i think it's very important to be in contact 
in the professional world to teach the students how things are working right now. Mm -hmm. Because now maybe mm, in two years, the, the, the process changes or the way we communicate with clients changes because the, uh, the communication uh, channels mm -hmm. are changing constantly. So it seems to me that you're talking about two things. You're talking about something that's very fixed called the craft. Okay. Yeah. And something that's changing called professionalism. Yeah. So tell us a bit more about your craft and your approach to lettering and to typography and to illustration. Yeah. So I try to learn in a very, um, in a very traditional way, maybe, uh, because I study calligraphy and I, I study manuscripts and then through calligraphy I can understand the way letter forms work and how the strokes are made, how the structure is made and uh, because now my, my, I consider my work a hybrid because nowadays it's important to be hybrid mm. to, to, to work in all the ways but to adapt this kind of working to the modern times so i combine the physical work with the digital work and also the way i've learned calligraphy and lettering uh is like in the old days i i've learned from masters i i've learned from teachers attending to their workshops uh just having them to teach me uh, the process, how the ink uh, works on different papers, uh, which ink should I use to work on this paper or to this artwork, how to mix inks or how to mix pigments. And, but also I think it's important to know how to promote yourself mm. in the digital era. So, mm. I think the, 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 the most important thing about this is to combine both worlds, uh, mm -hmm. to combine the traditional ways to work because now also I, I, I try to, to, to also to tell, to, to, to tell my students that we live in a digital world, but uh, nowadays books are more important also because mm -hmm. Uh, books contain a lot of important information. The, this information is um, uh, more accurate than a blog or a tutorial, I think. So I encourage them to take a look to the books, uh, to study from books, but also to communicate through uh, digital uh, media on digital mm -hmm. channels. So I think uh, every professional should be uh, a mix of traditional learning and modern ways of communication. So uh, I think that, in my opinion, uh, this, is, this, this is the way to work because in, in, that, in, in, in that way, we can still be in contact uh, with the real world, the real world, <laughs> quote unquote, and to maybe to learn from this heritage that uh, all the professionals have left us mm -hmm. in history during this, mm -hmm. the, 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 the design history, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the projects you're working on, like your professional projects. So, yeah, so now I'm, 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 I'm trying now because I'm, I'm, taking, I'm taking advantage of this, of this uh, situation Absolutely. and I'm, I'm trying to, um, to, to learn new things. Now, now I'm, I'm, I, I, I have paused my commercial project. I, I, I'm, I'm working now on, on, a, on a small project that it's a, it's a calligraphy for, for, a, for, for a wine label. But I'm trying to learn 
new things. Um, I'm trying to also to prepare uh, new content to, for, for my students. Uh, I'm, I'm studying a new uh, style of calligraphy called um, go, go, Gothic bastard, or it's, it's, a, it's a mix of Italian calligraphy and, and, and Gothic. Mm -hmm. And it's, 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 yeah, it, it, I, I'm trying to now looking at manuscripts uh, and, and doing um, the models for my students mm -hmm. and also doing this, this small job because this, this uh, wine label is, 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 a, is, a, is, a, is a small project. But I'm trying to now to, to have my, my, my hands busy in learning new things and preparing uh, new content for my students when this situation ends. <laughs> perfect, perfect. So how do you see all this translating as a career for the students? So how can we help current students and graduates uh, get the career that they want? So I think um, it's very important to en encourage them to to pursue, to, to pursue, because now we, we are living in a, in a very global way, uh, uh, in a very global world. And also, I think now there are people who are making a living from things that were impossible decades ago, mm. like people reviewing things or make, make, doing uh, analysis of products and making a living from 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 that mm -hmm. so i think mm -hmm. it's 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 very i think i i i encourage them to pursue what they love and they would like to study it but also to put a lot of effort in it and to work very 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 hard because uh, now in in uh people think now with uh, especially because the lot of people who can pretend that they have a lot of work on social media and that kind of stuff and, and also we have the battle of the likes and followers and i encourage them to not to to fall on that trap and uh, to work on their thing uh, not looking at the numbers or not looking at the amount of followers or likes uh, they have, just to pursue the things that make them fulfilled. Mm, mm. But I think uh, not, not, not everything has its place in the world, but almost everything has its place in the world. So they, now they, they are, me as a calligrapher, I'm making a living by doing calligraphy in the 21st century. So, and I think it, this used to be considered a, a, a dead art or a dead craftsmanship. Yeah. And now I'm making a living just working with letters and doing letters by hand. So um, I encourage them to, to work as hard as possible in the things they love and to be also to be uh, to, to be a specialist in, 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 a, in, a, in a niche so because now it, it, uh, I think it's very important to know your target audience and you, and to know uh, your clients or the way your work can be used to for, for client projects or to because i i believe that in this uh, by in the specialization we can find a, a way to make a living from 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 the the, the things we we like or we are passionate about absolutely it's very good excellent so how can we do design education differently? What would you uh, add, replace, or remove from the current system? Well, uh, one thing is that, the, at, at least in Spain, 
the most part of of the of of, of teachers are only teachers mm -hmm. so i think uh we should change it because um it's very important uh, that the students have uh in the 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 knowledge to end their studies mm -hmm. uh with um, an amount of knowledge so they can get into work as soon as they finish their the 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 design school so i think that the the problem i encountered when i was a student was that the um, 99 percent of my, of my of my teachers were only teachers mm -hmm. they, they, they 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 didn't know how things work in the real world so i think that's that's a big problem because this is as, as i as i mentioned mentioned before uh, I, this is a craftsmanship so i i i i, I understand my, my my interpretation my, my interpretation of this is that like that that we should pass the knowledge to the to the student but also the knowledge we have acquired by working with clients so this is this is an um this this is of the, the only way to 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 work as a designer is to do commercial work mm -hmm. also also you can teach of course, of course. but commercial work is related with clients is is there's there's no commercial work with a client so i think it's very important to to know how to to get clients how to communicate with them how to how to try to maybe to write to write a, a contract yeah absolutely or an agreement mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i think that that's very important and i the, to, in order to teach that in the correct way, you have to be in touch with the professional world directly, and that's a, a big a, a big problem we have here in Spain right now. That uh, especially in the in the public schools, uh, teachers are only teachers; mm -hmm. they are not teachers and professionals. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a big problem. So that's what you would change: more more professionals. Yeah. In, in yeah yeah i think so i i i think and now uh teachers are allowed to work at the same time they they teach in the public school but they are not allowed to um to have a certain amount of revenue mm -hmm. so that's a that's a big problem because you are limited in the in the in, in the amount of projects you, you can take Mm. So I, I should I, I I will change it because I think it should be compatible. And what about the the curriculum for learning calligraphy? Is there something that you is there something how, how can would you would you improve something in the calligraphy curriculum or would you add? Uh, oh, yeah. What feel <laughs> necessary? Of course, because there there's no calligraphy in the design. Mm. Uh, in the in the design degree here there there, it, there is um it's not mandatory i think it's it's it, you can you can choose it but it, it's it's very limited i think students only have a limit a limited amount of hours so i i only teach calligraphy in the masters uh, and my hours are very limited too mm -hmm. so i think in order to have the students to understand the way typography works, is uh, I think is by doing calligraphy. I I'm, I'm I I always say that uh, it's better learn by thing uh, learn learn the things by doing mm. better than, than than just study textbooks because uh, this. Through practice, we can internalize this knowledge. I think so. Uh, calligraphy is not is is very underrated in some design schools. So I think it's very important to to understand typography. And typography is one of the main 
uh, columns of graphic design. Absolutely. So I, I think uh, people should take more care or to, yeah, to take more care about calligraphy because uh, just by doing calligraphy, you can understand a lot of things about typography. Mm. Mm. Perfect, perfect. How can our viewers find you? Uh, they can find me, uh, uh, well, they can see my work on my website is uh, www.joankiros.com and I'm very active on Instagram, so they can follow me on Instagram at Joan Quiroz, J O A N Q U I R O S. <laughs> so they can find me there. Excellent, excellent. And any last piece of advice you'd like to leave us with? Uh, yeah, just uh, work hard and be disciplined about your craft and try to learn something every day. It's, mm. That's my, my yeah. advice. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much, John. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thanks to you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.